Hello and welcome back to another Primetime Devo. My name is Dwayne Matz. We're continuing today in the book of 2 Timothy. You know, I've got lots of old Bibles. If I had a, you know, a camera that I could move, I could show you a stack of, let's see, five of them just to my left here. Old Bibles that are worn and torn and filled with uh, my early notes. And as I look at these early notes, I often, I just marvel at how certain I was about certain teachings in Scripture, only to find out years later that my thinking needed to be corrected. One thing I've learned, I don't know it all, and I'm not going to know it all this side of heaven. There is so much more, though, that the Holy Spirit desires to teach me, and my part is to remain teachable. And honestly, it's a prayer that's never far from my lips as I spend time in the Word of God. Right out of Psalm 25, 5, Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all the day. Well, we're continuing today in 2 Timothy. We're in chapter 2, going to look at verse 14 today. Paul writes to Timothy and says, Remind them of these things, charging them before the Lord not to strive about words to no profit to the ruin of the hearers. That's Second Timothy 2.14. Well, first of all, we got to ask the question, what things? Remind them of these things. What things? Well, obviously, the things that Paul has been speaking about in the preceding verses. Now, the word remind here is really interesting. It means to bring to remembrance quietly. No need to get in a shouting match with others over these essential matters of doctrine. Proverbs 15, 1 and 2 reminds us, A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise uses knowledge rightly, but the mouth of fools pour forth foolishness. And in Proverbs 25, 15, we read, a gentle tongue breaks a bone. There's an old saying, he who raises his voice has lost the argument. I like the, the quote, too, from the Nobel Peace Prize winning Anglican Bishop Desmond Tutu, who said this, don't raise your voice, improve your argument. <laughs> well, doctrinal arguments are improved by Prayerful study of scriptures. Pray before you open up your Bible. Pray that the Holy Spirit would open up these truths to you as you read his word. It's part of his job. Jesus said in John 14, 26, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. And in John 16, 13, he said, However, when he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will tell you things to come. Now, he won't teach you these things if you're not correctable. So be correctable. Don't you know that you will not know it all this side of heaven? Proverbs 12, 1 says, Whoever loves instruction loves knowledge, but he who hates correction is stupid. There's a spiritual law at work connected to how we hear the word of God, whether we're reading it or just listening to a sermon. Jesus said in Luke 8:18, 8, Therefore take heed how you hear. For whoever has to him more will be given, and whoever does not have, even what he seems to have, will be taken from him. The more teachable and correctable you are in your approach to Scripture, the more light you will be given. The Bible becomes more and more an open book, and you'll be amazed at how much you will see the concept of Scripture interpreting Scripture at work as you submit to the Holy Spirit and become teachable and correctable. Well, that's all the time we have for today. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, Jesus loves you. Tell your face about it.